Last year at Devolver's E3 press conference, we got our first tease at Sector X, Dineton's next game. The 2019 E3 conference lacked any official news of Sector X as well, but sure enough, Devolver teased another small snippet of gameplay again. Can you catch it? Okay, so it was probably hard to catch what was going on in that, but I've now slowed and edited the footage to only the Sector X parts. What we've been given here is two short clips, uh, one of a player traversing a few walls, and the other far more noteworthy clip is a giant man extending his face screaming at you while sleeping next to a giant naked woman. The first thing I want to point out is this fully confirms our suspicions that the 2018 footage was a Denaton game. We were pretty sure it was. The Devolver YouTube channel even left an emoji on my last video. But we can now confidently say without a shadow of a doubt that this is what Denaton is working on. What gives it away is the face of the woman sleeping is identical to the Highline Mammy style of faces. It's clearly Dennis's artwork. Now looking closer at the first clip, we can learn a few more things about the gameplay. The player is seen jumping on walls to traverse the level, uh, so they could wall jump, they do a little roll between jumps, and then you can see them sliding down the wall. What I noticed is you can see the little green bar on the HUD deplete per jump, which I think it's safe to say that's an energy bar that you'll have, and so the other one above will be the armor from the upgrade menu that we saw last year. Uh, so it looks like you'll be able to do a bunch of parkour, but it's limited, and you're going to be able to upgrade your ability to do it to pull off parkour and jumps and, and wall jumps and whatnot. Up here in the other corner, we've got a blue crystal looking item with a zero. That's probably going to be the game's currency, or how you upgrade things, or purchase weapons and armor. We don't know at this point. My guess is this is the tutorial of the game, just teaching you basic jumping mechanics. Uh, it's very simple level design here with it just going up and down and there's no enemies present. The next clip is likely a boss fight and a crazy one at that. The man's extending face out of his head and just screaming at you and the wires around the woman. It gives off this weird like cyberpunk transhumanist vibe. Uh, we get a better view of the player as the uh, camera zooms in. He's like this big burly man with his dukes up. He looks like he looks hunchback in this or it could just be his armor. And it kind of, like, the way his eyes are glowing in his mask, it makes me think of Carmine from Gears of War. But he definitely looks cool. I think he's, like, he reminds me of Biker a lot um, in terms of Hotline Miami, like, this, like with his muscles exposed and whatnot. He's a really cool design. Uh, it'll be interesting if you can change his armor or if this is straight up just the player and you can't change him. This is the clip that really hypes me for Sector X because it's, it's insanity and freakiness. Uh, beforehand, we'd only seen some, like, basic gameplay of the player moving around into the environment, kind of confirming that the game exists. But now we can to see this game's gonna be like one hell of a drug trip and Denaton's had a long time to work on this game uh, apparently they've been planning about it before even making uh, the second hotline and uh, so I think it's going to be more creative and, and like inventive than most other games is we're gonna really get to see like what's inside the twisted minds of Denaton with this one and that's all the information I can really pull out of this small bit of gameplay uh, what do you guys think about it? I really like how Devolver's been teasing the game like this with each installment of their E3 presser. Uh, hopefully we'll get like a payoff next year and maybe they'll acknowledge like, that they've been teasing it or something. Um, they're clearly as excited about this game as we are. And I've seen absolutely zero people outside the community like pick up on these teases yet. There's, there's just no article talking about it. There's only a few other snippets of information that we've gotten since the release of my last video. Uh, I'll go over those right now. Dennis's Instagram has made three posts teasing Sector X. The first was a comment on the Hotline Mammy 2 art book giveaway. I missed this. It was already out in the wild by the time I made my last video, but uh, I missed it. But he promised to show more of his game in 2019. And I imagine what I just showed you is what he was talking about, but it could be something out or it could have been delayed since this comment. I wouldn't hold my breath for anything new this year. Next is this image he posted at the start of 2019, excitedly talking about how he's been animating for his next game for the past few years non-stop. Lastly, we've got this whiteboard of play and player movements written down. You don't even really need to speak Swedish to understand it. You can clearly see the different angles of jumping and sliding, which just reinforces that the gameplay we saw is Sector X. Uh, I think it's just cool how they approach game design together. They plan it out this way. 
And to end this video on, someone uh, anonymously sent me an image from the leak I mentioned in my previous video. This leak is just file names, no images of the files, but it gives us a little bit more information that I think is kind of interesting. But I'm just going to say spoiler alert, um, nothing too big, but this is the leak. This isn't something they wanted us to see. Um, so we can tell the players can hang and attack from the ceiling. Um, there's a character called the Massager, and there's there's handguns. So we got guns again, and <laughs> and the most interesting one, uh, there's breasts with legs, and they can walk. Uh, this coupled with the naked lady with wires makes you wonder what kind of like sexual themes the game's gonna have. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 is also reminds me of this the way it's like there's it, they're trying to show humans and. Uh, technology merged together and so there's just no shame in the human body and it's it's very exposed so if this lady's gonna like if this is gonna be like a boss fight uh, with boobs uh, <laughs> it's gonna be fucking nuts uh, I'm wondering if it's part of the boss fight that we saw in the video could the dude be the massager and then it's her breasts or is it something else or is this just a typo and uh, we're, we're just crazy thinking uh, regardless we know the game's gonna be very weird. It gets me very excited. These guys have got some wild imaginations. And uh, that's all I gotta say about this small little leak. If anyone else has got more information, I'd love to see it. Um, I'd love to see the breasts with legs. <laughs> but maybe we're, I think we're just gonna have to wait. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen my first video, it goes into much more depth on the history of Sector X and what we know about it. The link's in the description. Hopefully, uh, next year we'll see much more of the game shown off proper. Uh, I want to warn, it might not be called Sector X, that is what the working title was from a couple years ago. They did confirm that this is the working title, but just like Hotline Miami, it was called Cocaine Cowboys initially. It might not be Sector X, so just watch out for the gameplay, watch out for the word Denaton being thrown around. I'll of course make a new video on anything else that comes out, so stick around. Till then, I'm just going to continue making videos on Hotline Miami 2 and its community projects. Stick around, guys.